Hi everybody, welcome to Azos Empires. Today we have another castle game from the online ranked ladder between two very high ranked players. We have in the yellow Lucifron as the Order of the Dragon and on the other side of the map it's Louis MT as the Byzantines in the color blue and the map is Hidden Valley. We have the, the, the land is divided into three and the middle section is closed off by two big forests and there is a sacred site and a relic in the middle and we have the order of the dragon the variant version of the hre which has better villagers better units but they are more expensive and take more time to produce and then we have the byzantines a fresh new civilization coming out of the sultan's ascent which focus on improving their eco by conducting water to their empire and by collecting olive oil from berries and olive groves but they're not doing that louis going straight for the ship and the gold not caring about the olive oil the new resource from the byzantines which then allows you to hire mercenaries for quote-unquote free right and uh, i think order of the dragon here wants to apply pressure early on because they have better units actually i had a lot of fun playing order of the dragon and uh, playing early game because you, you come here with two archers which are really good they are better for the order of the dragon and you can really perturb their eco and you can even with, with good macro i think you can defeat one horseman with two or three archers so it's really really good and i find it really interesting that louis does not is not caring about the olive oil he will just go into horsemen he will just fast castle I don't know. Lucifron over here going for three on gold. Everybody on food. Remember, the, the villagers are better, so they gather faster, right? By the way, guys, if you are enjoying the content, leave a like and subscribe. And use the links down below to follow me on Twitch. Lucifron also streams on Twitch, so the link will be in the description down below. So both people both players going in period uh, going a few the age. Minework Palace makes a lot of sense for the Order of the Dragon because you already have better units. So if you if you upgrade them faster and cheaper, they get even better. Right? So really, really good. And then we have the Imperial Hippodrome. So focus on cavalry. Focus on early aggression here with horsemen. And you have the Triumph ability that gives more damage, more attack speed, and more healing. And the more damage you do more time you can use that ability as well which is really really good great landmarks actually i think byzantines have great landmarks overall and guys let me know in the comments down below what you think about the new civilizations the new maps and the, if you play ranked let me know what how has been your most recent rank experience and also, uh, the villagers from the Order of the Dragon, the Dragon Villager, which is a very cool name, they build faster as well. Right? Oh, foreign gold for Louis. So, he will do some early aggression and then go castle. He's killing the deer close to the TC, so it will, uh, collecting the deer will be boosted by the cistern. Right? Yeah, increases the, increases the gathering rate for everything, right? by 5%, then if you connect it to another cistern, 10%, if you connect to another cistern, 15, and then 20, and then 25. Oh yeah, and you can arm your villagers, I actually forgot about that. You can arm your villagers, that's really, really cool. Minework Palace, coming in online. Oh, Imperial Hippodrome going up with only one villager. I've never seen that before, so it's like you can collect enough resources to then uh, make some horsemen. It makes sense, right? Oh, several techniques coming in. And that's... Oh, because he also pushed the deer close to his TC. And one great thing about Order of the Dragon is when you research economical upgrades, these villagers get so much better. Right, guys? It's really crazy. Because they already collect faster and you make them collect faster with the upgrades, it just scales super, super well. And the upgrades are not more expensive. So because your villagers collect more gold, for an example, those upgrades will be quote-unquote cheaper. In a, in a certain way, right? So a lot of food coming in for Louis. So I really think he wants to go castle. He, he makes like one or two horsemen. 
and Ghost Castle, he has a lot of gold. He's, he's all over the deer. Is this being boosted? I don't think so. He doesn't have enough stone for a new sister, but maybe the landmark gives a lot of stone. How much stone does the completion of the landmark give? I don't know. I think this landmark should be bigger as well. To be more epic. You know. It gave some stone, alright, not much. Not like, oh, I thought it would give like 100 stone or something. But if, you, if, he, if he builds a couple of houses, perhaps, a couple of archery ranges or something, he will get close to 100. Then he can drop a new system and boost over here, I think. No, they are being boosted. Right? We can see the... But, right. And uh, Lucifron going castle as well. So... Ah, it's because then he can get the upgrades faster in castle. Alright, so both players going castle over here. Not a single horseman. Oh, maybe he wants to then raid with cataphracts. Yeah, this is actually really good. Expilatores. Horseman damage versus workers increased by 2. And workers killed by your horseman reward 20 gold. So it really rewards you by being aggressive. It's really, really good. Right. Yeah, nothing really happening right now, guys. It's Castle H time. Regnis Cathedral is going up, though. So Lucifer will grab those relics, generating more gold. Yeah, it's a good old Regnis. Works the same way. Cistern of the First Hill. And this landmark is really good. Because it has a lot of cool technologies in it. And it's more like abilities. Like, you give a flask of, like, quote-unquote holy water or some alchemical... Uh, substance and your units can drink that flask and heal while in combat. It's really crazy. And then it's really fun because it appears a little animation saying gulp every time your units drink it. It's really, really funny actually. Alright, Ragnitz goes up. Prelate immediately killed. Louis aging up with seven wills on the cistern of the first hill. Scout is scouting. No military buildings yet for Lucifron. Is Lucifron want, wants to go naked Imperial? What? What is the first relic being captured? That one over there. No, this no, this prelate is going somewhere else. Okay, that's a horseman coming through. No more horsemen in no. And wheelbarrow for Louis as well. There you go, season of the first heal, and it's connected to everything. So you can have Dialectus, research rate increased, 50%, 100, 100, 200, 150, and 250 by water level while within the influence of the cistern, that's crazy. Conscriptio, military unit production rate increased. Bro, this is really good, bro. Then Presidium, building damage taken decreased. And then automatic pilgrim flask. Toggle on to activate automatic drinking when low health rapidly increased health regeneration by 35 per second. So you can boost the researchers, you can boost the military buildings, depending on how you use the water. That's actually amazing. And Louis, not going for oil at all, so no free mercenaries. Let's go, Gilded Knights, they look so good, bro. Look at that. Bro, they look awesome. Here they go, protecting the rel protecting the prelate, protecting the relic. They are on the mission with the scout. It's a mini storyline within the game. Look at the horseman, bro. The horseman of the, the, the gilded knight. They have a golden sword and everything, bro. Oh! But there is Cataphract, a unique unit for the Byzantines, which do 28 sword with, the, uh, with 28 damage with their sword, and they can trample, charge through enemy units in your path, dealing 10 damage to each one. 
And you know what that is really good for? Your enemy has some units and the Manganel behind the units. You just char you just um, trample through those units and destroy the Manganel. It's really good. Let me see the damage of the Guild Knight. 36 damage with their sword, bro. Crazy. An army of those guys is really scary. Both, uh, both uh, uh, players being raided by cavalry units. Can I? I don't think a Gilded Knight can win. No, not against three. Against two, perhaps, but not against three. Oh, one of them going down. No, they're drinking. They're drinking from the flask. Okay. Musifron killed one villager so far, but Louis has more village. Ah, because it takes more time for the Order of the Dragon to produce villagers, but they are better. Right. Blood goes down. Knights going down. Because in the end of the day, the cataphracts come out faster. And they are cheaper. And the Gilded Knights, they lose. Right, they lose. They lose the 2v1, so it's not good enough. Three knights for Lucifron, six cataphracts for Louis. Two relics for Lucifron, zero for Louis. Upgrades. There should be a knight upgrade, I think. There we go. Nice. Oh! Louis will lose his units! Oh, it was so close, guys! Look at the heals, look at the heals, bro. The knights can handle it because of the heals. Bro, it's too. It's a lot of cataphracts, man. Too much cataphracts. Over here, on Louis' side. Lucifron cannot defend, he needs spears urgently. Okay, three relics in the bag. Lucifron has no food. Uh oh. Villagers are moving out to the one deer, but the cataphracts are already there. A prelate comes out. Spearmen are coming out, but only one barracks for Lucifron. And it takes 18 seconds to make a spear. And it takes 29 seconds to make a, a cataphract. So, theoretically, Lucifron could mass spears faster than the cataphracts. It's going crazy. Do they have more armor? I think no. They don't. They only have 4 melee. But they have 360 HP. These guys have 400 HP though. So uh, attack speed 138. 125. These guys should always look. But it's because of the healing, right? The cataphracts heal and that's crazy. Okay, spears coming in, but the healing, bro, the healing is busted, the healing is broken. And those are feudal age spearmen, by the way. And they don't, they don't have plus one. Bro, you could go, just go for plus one. Ah, oh, there is no food, though. The villagers cannot gather food. And Louis killed six villagers, Lucifer killed three. So it's very bad for Lucy from here. His numbers are growing though. Oh wait, because the units count as double. Oh no. Yeah, the units count as double or three perhaps. No, it takes two population space, two population space. Oh, I think that's not intended. Oh, the trample. Ability to reach the spears in the back. Great move from Louis. 
Sacred Sight being captured from Louis. Nobody is trapping through the middle. Let's go. Pellets healing the, the uh, wounded Gilded Knight. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Good numbers here for. Nah, but the, the healing, bro. The healing, man. It's really perturbing. Let's see from over here. Okay, some spears are here to help. Okay, that's great. Good micro from Louis. Because they can heal later. Them. Ooh, no, GG, yeah. Uh, Lucifer realizes he can't beat this game. Luc Lou is too strong with the Byzantines. Guys, if you enjoyed this one, leave a like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitch. And I see you next time. So, take Cloud Surfer, surfing out.